don't have a lot of restaurants by us, so this is one of our favorite meals to make when we want something fancier and just kind of a date night in. This is something we make quite often in our house. Like any good recipe, you're gonna start with a good pad of butter. We're gonna put that into a skillet over medium-high heat. And to that, we will add a chopped onion and some garlic. We don't have to worry about if our knife cuts aren't super uniform here. Everything's going into the blender. Uh, so just cut enough so that it can cook down and get soft. Make sure not to burn your butter or your garlic here. To this, we'll add the roasted bell peppers. I get these right in the can or the little jar at the store. It saves me all the time of roasting them myself. So this is a really good little cheat and I just gave those a rough chop. And we'll go ahead and cook these for a few minutes. Then to that, we'll add some salt and some pepper. We're not gonna add too much salt here just because we will have some pancetta later and pancetta is very salty. So watch your salt here. We'll let that cook down for a little bit and while that's happening, make sure you get your water boiling because we are gonna put some pasta in there uh, to make it a really good, rich meal. <laughs> Now we'll add some chicken broth. You can add, um, I did about a cup and a half. You could add less or more depending on how thick or thin you would like your sauce. And to really up it, we're gonna add some heavy cream and Parmesan cheese. <laughs> so again, we don't wanna put too much salt in the beginning because Parmesan cheese is also quite salty. We'll go ahead and give that a good stir, let that cheese melt and it'll eventually come to a simmer. There we go, some good bubbles. And once that happens, go ahead, let it cool before adding it to your blender. Add some fresh basil leaves. That'll really lighten up the sauce just a bit. And we'll give it a good blend. Now, you can blend this till it's completely smooth if you want, or I like to leave some texture. So it's really to your preference. But again, I do like a little bit of texture there so you can see that pretty green coming through. To a pan with a little bit of olive oil, we're gonna add our pancetta. I got about a quarter pound, and it also does not have to look super pretty, just something to be crispy and delicious on top of our pasta. So go ahead and crisp that up just a little bit. Take it out of the pan, but reserve that pan. Go ahead and salt your water if it's boiling. That will be for our pasta. And there we go, there's our pasta. We'll get that in there. Okay, I'm a stickler. I will not break my long pasta. Don't do it, it will eventually fit in your pot, I promise. Just nurture it and it'll happen. Okay, here is our beautiful Texas farm raised shrimp. Got those bad boys in there. From all of that oil that we got from the pancetta, it wasn't too much, but just enough. So we'll add it to that same pan. See, the pasta cooked down. No need to break it. Don't break the pasta, guys. <laughs> and there's our shrimp. I went ahead, salt, pepper, and some Italian seasoning, and let those cook till they're no longer translucent. And we'll add the sauce to the pasta. And look at that, you guys. It is done. Top it with some extra cheese, that shrimp, some crushed red pepper, the pancetta. I shredded a little bit more basil and a pretty rosemary sprig. And that's dinner. Pour a glass of wine and enjoy.